guys, what's up? It's me, Priscilla, and today we are going to draw Barley Lightfoot from Disney Pixar's new movie, Onward. If you haven't seen it yet, uh, it was in theaters and now it's available to buy. Not exactly sure when it's available to rent or buy on DVD, but who knows, it might be soon. Everything's up in the air right now, but let's go ahead and get started on drawing Barley, Chris Pratt's character. Alrighty. So we're gonna go ahead and start laying out Barley's overall body. All right, well, you're not gonna have a problem like we did with Ian either. So Barley has a very square head. Okay, we're gonna start off with the square part of his face. Kind of round that in. Bring this up here and go down and into his head. Then I'm just gonna lightly draw through his head Make a bit of a rectangle here, and a rectangle kind of going here. And then from going back, bring out his shoulder, and then I'm going to circle in. So I circled in, and that's just the ultimate <laughs> part of his upper arm. And I think he's wearing a cast. I have not seen the movie yet. I'm not sure why he's wearing a cast. So I'm going to bring up this part of his upper arm that's going into his hand. That is mostly his cast being cut off here and his shirt's being cut off here. Now from this part that I drew up here, I'm going to bring this part down, go in, and then I'm going to draw through here, through his arm, bring that down. Go back up into this part of his body. And I'm going to bring this one down, bring out his leg short here. Go out and back in. And bring this part up. And then I'm going to round off this part of his leg. Go up. Go into here. And then I'm gonna bring, see how I kind of like roughly placed his shoe and his knee. He's got short looking legs from what, it, what I can tell. And a round off up here, which will ultimately be the rounded off part of his kneecap. And bring out this part. And then one leg shoe is coming out a little bit more towards us. So this one's coming towards us, that means they'll be on alternating levels. First, let's go ahead and draw that middle guideline and then our eye guideline. And his face, like I said, he's a very boxy looking guy. So his face is very, very boxy. So starting off where his eye line is, we're gonna go ahead and make one eye here and it's not as round as Ian's. It's kind of got like a sunset, sunrise kind of vibe to it.
actually going to go right down here and close off that side. And like with Ian Lightfoot's tutorial that I did a tutorial on, I'm not going to draw all these individual jagged teeth. I'm going to just draw a simple line. So I'm going to go underneath, go back up in. There's one line of row of teeth. And then from the bottom of his mouth, another row of teeth. And I'm going to just draw his tongue kind of hiding back here behind this row of teeth. Very expressive barley, very expressive looking smile. <laughs> From his nose and the nose ridge, we're actually going to draw his eyebrows first. So starting from up here, his eyebrows are kind of all the way up, nice and caterpillar-like. Same over here. Bring up this caterpillar like. And then from this part of his side of his face, from his eyebrow, we're going to go down and then out, round off that cheek. Bring that all the way down. You're going to curve in for his chin. And then his neck, you can barely see his neck over here. For the nose ridge, now that we have his eyebrow, you're going to bring down this nose ridge, nice harsh line, going out into his nose, and you're going to round it off right here. Jump up in here and you got your nostril. Bring that up in, bring it up here. And I'm gonna draw that line again so we can shade it later on. And his dimples are kind of connected to his nose in a way. What we're gonna do next is over here, you're gonna bring back his little beanie, whatever this hat is called, beret. I'm not sure, I think it's a beanie. So we're gonna bring this back go in and for right now underneath here I'm gonna bring up this part for his, ha his hair is going in all kinds of different directions so it's different from Ian's Barley's hair is kind of straight and it's floofy in different spots so it's gonna kind of go off to the side got a couple of wispies over here a couple of wispies up here out this way bring out this part and then in the middle of his little beanie you're going to bring up one part and you got all kinds of wispies and other pieces of hair going in different spots bring down this one all kinds of wispies and you bring it all the way down he just reminds me of Jack Black for some reason. <laughs> and then from underneath his beanie, you have the point of his beanie here. And you've got his ear off to the side. And go back into his head. Bring it out and in. And we've got that little earlobe definition. And we got earlobe definition down here. And then for his neck, his neck's just going to go down this side. And his chin's like right here. So his hair is literally in straight wispies everywhere. So you got a couple of wispies going there, a couple up here. There we go, and we'll shade in his face later on. Let's keep piecing together the rest of his body. So from his ear, and we got, oh, also from his ear, you got some pieces of hair that are hanging out back here as well. He's got hair everywhere. And back here, behind his neck, you're gonna round off his collar, his jean collar. Go into his arm, 
back from his arm. So the jean collar right here, and then you're gonna branch off from underneath the collar. This is part of his jean collar as well. So back from here, you're gonna round down this part. Let's finish his arm before we get into detail on his jean vest. His arm right here is cut off because it's in a black cast. So we're going to go up, round this off here, make it nice and round, and kind of bring this off to the side. We don't see most of his hand because it's inside of this cast, but we can kind of see the thumb cut off. And he's got a fist, so I'm going to go up and in. And then I'm going to bring up this part of his fist. So you go up, bring this in, go in. We're going to go up in here, bring this part in. And up, bring this in, and then right here. So this is just his clamped fist. And I'm just going to make differentiate, just kind of cut off the side so his thumb's going in. We're going to make sure that this cast is completely covering that part. There we go. Now to make this look like a cast, you're going to go around, kind of give it those wrapped around looks and then this part of his vest goes out and in i'm going to bring down this part too so this is his shirt but this is the other part of his vest that's kind of going outwards and then back in this fist over here we're just going to kind of round it off to the side and we have another big fist here. But this arm is not covered in a cast, but like some kind of wristlet with spikes on it. Total rocker. All right. So we're just going to leave this off right here. Let's go ahead and draw this fist. Rounding off the top here. We're going to bring this in, round this down. Bring this in here and go up. Now we can see a full hand. So this part's going to go out and in. I'm going to round this part down. Go in here. Go down and in. Down and in. 
can't go wrong with making this more of a square shape and just breaking it up into pieces. hand so we can go ahead and just shade this all in and to kind of define it a little bit more we can just make mark off that thumb now for his wristlet for the spikes you're just gonna go around and give like little nubs of spikes you can even just draw a couple circles not to be that defined but they, it is a spiked wristlet and then you have the jean jacket that's kind of off to the side I will not draw all these patches on his jean jacket. <laughs> so I'm just going to lightly kind of place where the patches are. We have a circle in the bottom corner of this jean jacket. We have a word here. And then we have a pocket here. And then another patch here. I don't even know what any of these mean. Druid Majesty smoked, and this definitely looks like the World of Warcraft dice ball. I, I'm not gonna do it, <laughs> okay? And then we have another patch that we can see over here. I'm gonna draw what the jean jacket looks like. <laughs> so we got one part of the jean jacket coming down to here. The lining of the jean jacket, you're gonna go underneath, and you have a button off to the side. The jean jacket's gonna go this way, out. And you're gonna go back in front. So we can only see the definition of the jean jacket on this side, we can't see it over here. This side has the button slots or whatever they're called to put the buttons in. And you can kind of go through and you can kind of make this a little ag and make it more of a jean jacket by going around, adding a couple like rivet places. This is his black shirt. And his black shirt kind of rests comfortably on top of his jeans. It doesn't really have, he has a design on the front, but we cannot see the design. I'm gonna go in, just lightly shade all of that. All right, now for his shorts. So we see the top part of his shorts right here. And then we're gonna kind of bring down this side, go out and then define this a little bit more. Go in towards his leg. This part of his short is hugging the side of his leg. You're gonna go out. 
and then back in. And they're cargo shorts, so that means we got this funny little pocket off to the side. Goes down. Make that top part of the, the pocket. Bring out this side. Bring this one down. Something's in the pocket. Go out. Bring this down. And then you've got the line top of the cargo shorts. Right there. And then we've got a couple of creases here. And then this part of his pants is going to go out. And it's going to go in front a little bit more. See how I turned up the line? Go out. Another cargo short pocket. So I'm going to make it go outwards and then back in. So it's kind of off to the side since this foot is facing us more than this side. So we got this top pocket going up over. Bring this in. And then we're going to line this part of the cargo short as well. And I'm not making any straight lines, notice that, because he is in this stance. So he's got all kinds of creases going around. So nothing should be like in a straight line. Everything should have some kind of disarray or disturbance and wrinkle or fold because he's in this kind of power stance. All right, for his feet, he has we don't have that much of legs to draw. We have a knee going in here. We have this part of his leg coming out and then this part of his leg coming out. We're gonna round off the bottom here and that's where we can see one sock. Let's jump over here and this part's going in and that means that's a knee here. This part is hugging from the side of the pants. Gonna round this off. Round this off here. And here's another sock. He looks like he has these ginormous vans or converse. I'm not exactly sure it's a style. Once again, no shoelaces. Um, we're gonna start. I'm gonna try to do these shoes. I don't know why my So this shoe is coming towards us, so we'll round off this part, round this down, there's the sole of the shoe that we can see, and then this is the tongue up here. So you bring up the tongue of the shoe, that's this, you're going to divide it by going off in this direction, bring out this side. One shoelace here, and one shoelace here. See, this is easy for me to cross over there. So 
So I'm actually going to bring out this side of the shoe a little bit more. There we go. And that looks a little bit more natural looking, even though these shoes are totally not natural in any way. Now, let's jump up to his face. We're going to shade a couple of things. He's got whiskers on his chin as well. So I'm going to go and start with shading underneath his nose, like we did with Ian. I'm going to kind of give a couple more dimples up in the corner. Shade in his rosy cheeks. He definitely has rosy cheeks despite his blue skin. And shade up underneath his eye. Shade underneath this eye. And then he's got his little whiskers. I'm going to lightly go in and just kind of draw in those whiskers. Just a little bit of a five o'clock shadow.